yeah hello there and welcome back and let us continue with our lesson over here and the next step let us go and upgrade our go router over here which is to the uh, latest version and that will be of the 7.1.1 and let's go and grab the dependency and if you go to the pub.dev over here you will see that the current version for the go router is the 7.1.1 and with this new version, there are certain improvements that we are going to implement over here. First of the thing is we'll go to the uh, migration guide over here. And let's go to the uh, migration to the 7.0.0 over here. And if you take a look over here, the self location now has been renamed to the match location over here. So let's go back over here and let me go to the uh, let's go to the leaf folder over here and let's go to the core and let's go to the route over here and we will go to the go router provider over here and now we need to replace the state that the sub location over here with the uh, mat match location and res replace this one with also the state that the sub location over here and let's go down and we have the query prompts over here and if you take a look over here the query prompts has been replaced with the query parameters so if you go back and you can replace the query prompts with the query parameter and i guess that's the uh, thing that we have used over here and if you go back to the uh, documentation over here you can see that the uh, the prompts has been replaced with the uh, the path parameters and also the lot of the other stuff has been replaced over here and let's go back over here and there is a new feature introduced in the go router saver let's go on to the top over here and currently we are using the cell route and now there is a stateful cell route so let's go and use the stateful cell route which will help us to preserve our navigation state so let's go and add the uh, st uh, the stateful cell route over here and if you take a look we need to provide the branch and if i provide the dot the index state over here and for that i don't have to provide the builder for the navigation builder over here and let's go down over here and let's arrange it properly and what we need to do is for these branches we have to provide the list of the stateful branches over here another thing is we need to provide the builder over here and let's provide the context state and the navigation cell and this is the stateful navigation cell that we have over here and with the uh, branches over here so let me just try to arrange this one over here uh, or let me close it and with these branches i need to provide the list of the stateful uh, if you go over here list of the stateful cell route over here so just copy this one from here and let's go and paste it over here and with this builder what we have to do is we need to return the uh, dashboard screen over here let's copy this one and let's paste it over here and now in the dashboard screen we need to change certain things over here so let's go to the dashboard screen from here and what we need to replace is that from here we are using the we are passing the widget over here but we need to pass in the st it is stateful uh, navigation cell over here and that will be of the child for us and now if i go back to the go router here i can provide this particular navigation cell over here and that should be good enough and let's go back to the uh, dashboard screen and what we need to go now is we need to go and provide this navigation cell to our button navigation as well over here and uh, let's paste it over here and now we need that over here as well so let's go and have that one as the uh, required one as the this dot the child over here and once we have that let's go down 
and now we don't require all of this from here so let's remove this one from here and index we can get it from this particular child over here so what we can do is uh, child child dot the index and since this is the uh, consumer stateful uh, widget over here we can actually convert this one now to the uh, stateless widget since we don't require any of this state over here currently what we have to do is widget dot the child dot the current index over here so now we got the current index from our stateful navigation cell over here and let's go down over here and on tab what we do is we don't require now switch case over here this is not required in the newer version what we can do is we can directly get that current index from the uh, widget dot the uh, child that we have right dot the we can now call the go branch over here and pass in the index over here and let's go on to the top and let's remove this one from here which is of the unused import over here and also i have converted that particular button navigation to a stateless widget over here because we don't require any of the reverberate configuration over here and let's go back to the da dashboard screen over here now we don't have to provide the terms over here and we need to provide the child over here as the uh, child of i guess this is the one so we need to provide it over here that will be of the widget dot the uh, child over here and once we have that i guess we are good to go and also you can convert this particular stateful widget to the uh, stateless widget for now and uh, we don't require any of the state currently over here and let's go back to the go router provider over here and what we need to do is now inside of these uh, branches uh, let's go down over here and now here we need to provide the uh, branches for our stateful uh, the stateful route over here or the stateful cell route over here so let's go inside of this one and let's provide the uh, uh, stateful i guess uh, is st it is stateful uh, cell branch over here and with this branch we need to provide the uh, route and let's remove that and route will be of the uh, base route over here so let's pass in the type as well over here and let's add in the uh, let's close it properly over here let me arrange this one properly over here inside this route what we need to do is we can copy our route or the go route cut this section and let's paste it inside over here and i guess we need to arrange or we need to provide the proper intent over here so let's uh, make it as a proper intent and now inside this route we provided our route which has its own sub route so now you can see that the stateful cell route is the nested navigation itself so it has its own uh, nested navigation over here and uh, let's go down over here and let's add in the another uh, stateful cell route uh, below this one so this will be of the uh, stateful uh, cell route branch again and what we have to do is uh, let's provide that and let's provide it and let's close it over here and let's go down and let's copy this particular route from here or let's cut that particular route and now let's paste it inside over here and let's make it as a proper intent over here and now next is we need a one more that will be of the uh, stateful cell cell branch over here and let's go and let's close it over here and we need to provide the third tab over here and that will be of the let's go and cut this particular section from here and let's go and paste it over uh, here and let's uh, make it as a proper intent over here and I guess that should be fine and now we can remove the cell route from here because we are going to use the stateful cell route instead of the uh, cell route over here and let me arrange this one properly over here and let's go 
and let's go to the uh, let's go on to the top over here i guess we need this one as the and it's not required but it's good to pass in the type over here as well so now we have the set for route for each of our tab over here and what you can also do is you can add in some comment over here and we have added some of the comments over here that is this is the route branch for the third tab in the button navigation this is for the second one and then we have for the first one and if you go back to the open up your device over here and currently if you go to the from the home if you go to the product detail over here if you go back to the card and if you go back to the home you will see that the there is no preservation of the uh, navigation stack but if we use the cell route or the stateful cell route now we should be able to preserve that particular navigation stack so let's open up our uh, device over here and let's go to the product detail from the home page over here and now if i go back to the card over here and if i come back to the home again now you will see that we are on the still on the product detail screen press so now with the core router 7 it is possible to have the uh, stateful navigation stack for your cell route as well so it's pretty cool and now if i click on the home again you can see that it doesn't uh, perform any of the actions so currently we are on the product detail and if i click again on the the button navigation home tab we don't get any of the uh, the navigation over here so for that what we can do is you can go to the uh, button navigation over here and there is one more option over here with the go route uh, go branch over here that is to initial location currently is the false over here and what we can do is uh, if you want that when you click on that one what we want to do is initial location so initial location what we can do is the uh, currently is the child that we have dot the uh, current location so a current index if we get and that is of equals to this one so i n d x index is equals equals to the child dot the current index so current index is matching with the uh, child current uh, index then what we want to do is we want to set this one to the true so if i hot reload over here again and let's go back to our device and let's log in over here and now if i go to the product detail and if i click on the home screen now i can come back to the home screen which is of the uh, initial location over here and that's pretty cool so what we have done over here is now we have the stateful uh, navigation over here and uh, what we can do now is you can see that all of the navigation stack has been preserved for us that is from the uh, stateful cell stateful cell route that we get from the go router seven over here so i hope you got the point on how you can migrate your previous version of the go router with the current or the new version of the go router that is of the seven that older or this higher over here so that's all for this lesson and we will meet up with the next lecture there are a couple of things in the go router again and let's do that on the next lecture till then have a great day